Corey Franklin and Katora Orji have been pushing the United States triple jumping into uncharted territory. At the 2022 World Championships, Tori Franklin won a bronze medal in the women's triple jump with a fifth round jump of 14.72 meters. This was a barrier breaking performance as it was the first time in history an American woman won a medal in the triple jump at the World Championships or Olympic Games. This comes off the heels of Katora Orji's American record of 14.92 meters and the consistency that she's shown in the finals of both the Olympics and the World Championships. Since the event was first introduced to the schedule for women in 1993 at the World Championships and 1996 at the Olympics, the highest finish by an American woman had been Katora Orji's fourth place at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. I will note that in 2001, Tiombe Heard of the United States did win a bronze medal in the triple jump at the World Indoor Championships. That is also significant and a huge moment for the United States. But we need to talk about Franklin and her first ever US medal at the Outdoor World Championships or Olympics, as well as how the combination of Franklin and Orji over the past six years has been a driving factor into what I think will be a rise in the US women's triple jump into the future. So let's dive into why Tori Franklin and Katora Orji have been a driving factor into the potential shift in women's triple jumping in the United States. First, it's important to look historically at the triple jump. The US men have been dominating or at least in the mix for as long as there has been the sport of track and field. They won the first three consecutive Olympic gold medals from 1896 to 1904. And then we saw a resurgence in the 80s and 90s with Al Joyner, Mike Connolly, Willie Banks, and Kenny Harrison. Then the last decade, we saw Christian Taylor and Will Clay tearing it up in the pit, winning gold and silver multiple times at Worlds and Olympics. But the women's side has had a much different story. Women had been competing in the event for decades, but it was never officially recognized until 1990. It was first introduced at the 1993 World Championships, then shortly after was added to the Olympics in 1996. In the 80s, there were a few American women who were breaking the triple jump world record, again, before the event was actually officially recognized. Names like Terry Turner, Melody Smith, Esther Gabriel, Wendy Brown, Sheila Hudson, between them, they brought the record from 12.43 meters in 1981 to 13.85 meters in 1987. But since then, American women have unfortunately taken a backseat to the rest of the world in the triple jump. As noted, prior to 2022, Katora Orji had the highest finish for an American with her fourth place at the 2016 Olympic Games. Orji also finished seventh place at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. Before that, the only American woman to even make the final at the Olympics was Sheila Hudson with a 10th place finish in 1996. And remember, Hudson actually owned the world record for some time back in 1987, before the event was official. So if women were competing at the Olympics back in the 80s, it's very possible the United States would already have a medalist. On the world championship side, things were a bit better, but really not by much. Again, before 2022, the highest finish for an American woman in the triple jump at the world championships was Katora Orji with a seventh place in 2019. Behind her, we saw Tori Franklin with a ninth place also in 2019. And then before them, Cynthia Rhodes got 11th place in 1997. Just so that we're keeping track, prior to 2022, in the history of the women's triple jump at the Worlds or Olympics, the United States has had four women make the final in five different competitions. What stands out most on this list? Katora Orji. Orji's entrance into the event seemed to cause a shift that we're really seeing now for the United States. She got fourth place in 2016, seventh place in 2019, seventh place in 2020. She has also gradually creeped up on the 15 meter barrier, having jumped 14.71 meters in 2016, 14.72 meters in 2019, and 14.92 meters in 2021, the current American record. 
In the midst of all that, we saw Tori Franklin rise to prominence as well. She just missed out on making the final at the 2017 World Championships when she jumped a personal best of 14.03 meters. She then broke the American record with a best of 14.84 meters in 2018. Then of course, at the Doha 2019 World Championships, Franklin finished ninth place in those triple jump finals. 2022 was a huge year though with the World Championships being held in the United States for the first time. Entering the competition, Orji had the second best mark in the world with her jump of 14.79 meters at USA Championships. Of course, Yulimar Rojas had the world lead and was the favorite for the gold medal. And spoiler alert, Yulimar Rojas won the world championship gold medal. But Tori Franklin was not too far behind Orji entering the championships with the third best jump in the world at 14.59 meters. At Worlds, both Orji and Franklin comfortably qualified into the final with jumps of 14.37 and 14.36 meters respectively. Fellow American Jasmine Moore just missed out on the top 12 that went to the finals with a 13th place finish jumping 14.24 meters. Into the finals though, and history would be made. Tori Franklin would jump 14.72 meters on her fifth jump, moving her from fourth place to third place, which she would hold through the final round, earning her the bronze medal. Again, this would be the first time the United States won a medal in the women's triple jump in the history of the Olympics or the World Championships. Orji was not too far behind, finishing in sixth place. Though it was not the position that she was of course looking for, the combination of Franklin's third and Orji's sixth is by far the best performance for the United States in a triple jump final in history. And even despite Orji missing out on a medal, she is only 26 years old, so still has a very long career ahead of her. That's really what this highlights though. Tori Franklin winning America's first major triple jump medal. Orji showing the consistency over the past few years and is still super young. Both of them hitting marks in the 14.8 and 14.9 meter range. The past six years has seen the women's triple jump move into uncharted territory, where the United States is finally now really putting themselves in the conversation the rest of the world has been in for the past 30 years. Behind Orgy and Franklin though, a few other US women have also been making some serious strides in the women's triple jump. Jasmine Moore just missed out on making the world championship final and has a personal best of 14.39 meters. Lanika Pitts has a best of 14.07 meters. Michelle Fulcom has a best of 14.04 meters. And there are many others in the high 13 meter range. The top 24 US marks are now all held by Katora Orji and Tori Franklin from the past six years. In addition, the past 10 years since about 2012 has seen eight US women break the 14 meter barrier. Compare that to the 20 years prior to that from about 1990 all the way to 2011 or so, where 13 women had broken the 14 meter barrier. So in just one decade or so, the women have approached what was done in the previous two decades. Now don't get me wrong, there is still a long way to go for the United States to truly be consistently on the medal podium and winning multiple international competitions year after year. But the women do seem to be headed in the right direction, again, led by Katora Orji and Tori Franklin. So go in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Tori Franklin's World Championship bronze medal. Do you think we'll start to consistently see US women on the podium in the triple jump? Will an American woman break the 15 meter barrier in the next couple years? Let me know. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.